Thank you. This press conference for Game 4 of the Big East Baseball Championship. Joined now by St. John's head coach, Ed Blankmeyer. The players are Ryan McCormick, Alex Caruso, and Zach Loricella. Coach, if you'd start with an opening statement. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> well, I, uh, I thought it was we played one of our best games of the year tonight. Um, in all three categories, I thought offensively we swung the bats well. Um, we had a lot of action going on, running and bunting, and uh, you know, getting guys moving, hitting and running. We did a nice job there. We just missed a couple signs that that, that hurt us a little bit. And of course, uh, you know, Ryan McCormick just pitched a hell of, hell of a ball game. So uh, it was a nice way. And gets us into the championship round, and we have to take care of business. So nice ball game on our end. I open the floor to open to questions. Please direct them first to the student athletes. Piv. Uh, yeah, me and Coach uh, Mascara, we always have a game plan before every single game. And here, they they like to they like to hit the fastball like just every other baseball team. But um, we like to mix it up. We like throwing our curveball or change up early, and then trying to get in on their fastballs late. <laughs> a little bit. I guess the both the hitters. Could you talk just <coughs> really aggressive out there today? Just talk a little bit about that as you. Yeah, we had a good uh, <clears throat> game plan today. Uh, we had a meeting before with Coach Hampton, our heading coach. And last time we faced Raleigh, he shot us down pretty good. And uh, we had a good approach today. You know, he comes out at us with a lot of sliders. And, you know, we were sitting on the uh, pitch a good amount of times today. And we put together really good at-bats. And, you know, we got, him, uh, we, got, we got on him early, which is huge for us. So that, that was, uh, that was a, uh, we executed our game plan really well. Matt. Uh, um, just what Zach said, I think we stuck to our approach. We, uh, one of the main things we said was to lay off the slider in the dirt, and I think a lot of us did that. We wanted to, if, if that meant take two strikes, then so be it. Why not with two strikes and just put the ball in play at that point? To Alex and Zach, when you guys got the lead and <clears throat> the momentum, I guess how important was it watching Brian, I guess, work quickly and kind of keep your offense on the field? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Ryan was great tonight. He he was working with a great pace. You know, he's a lot of first pitch strikes, and that, that keeps the defense on their on their toes. You know, he was working ahead and you know throwing a lot of curveballs for strikes too. And he kept hitters off balance all game. So when you have a guy like that on the mound <coughs> and you're playing behind him, it's easy to play. And I mean, he's the reason he's pitcher of the year. You know, he it was dominant tonight, and he had his best outing the whole year. And that's when we need him the most. So it was fun to play behind Ryan today. Yeah, like what Zach said, that makes it easy for the. Defense to stick, stick, stay in the game, and uh, one thing for us is uh, the rhythm of the pitcher. When he's working at a quick pace, it's easy for the defense to stay in the game and not fall asleep. Brian, would you consider that your best effort of the year? I'd say so. That and Xavier. Okay. <clears throat> I guess just talk about working at that pace, and being able to, to get through it. Really yeah. Um, you know, I like to work at a quick pace. I like to get ahead out of early with all my pitches. I like to throw my curveball early, keep them off balance. But um, it's easy to pitch like that when you're up a couple of runs here and there. Did you get kind of a lift the way that second inning ended after they, you know, got the two hits off you and all of a sudden you're out of the inning with one fly ball? Yeah, um, yeah I mean, I'll, after that inning, I just want to stay focused. You know, it was exciting. I thought they didn't actually score a run, but I found out that they actually did score a run. But anyway, yeah, I just want to stay focused. And that, that, that after that inning, I was like, they're not scoring another run in this game. So, <clears throat> Take two more questions for the student athletes. Matt. Yeah, it's huge for us. You, we came in on a playing great baseball, and we wanted to keep that going. And yesterday was a tight game, but we pulled it out in the end, and today we wanted to play our best game of the year. And like well, Coach said before, I thought we did in all aspects of the game. We were aggressive. Hayden Ryan was aggressive early, and our defense played great. So, you know, it's huge for us to be in the driver's seat in the championship game right now. Matt? Viv, anything else? No. All right. Thank you to the student athletes for joining us. Coach, if you'd stick around for a few minutes. I'd ask you now to please direct your questions to Coach Blankmeyer. Coach, I think Ryan had 12 outs, 
LLC, three digits or less. I guess, can you kind of talk about his efficiency a little bit, and is that as good as you think? You know, he's, uh, he pitched here um, in our 4 1 win, and I think he got he had 16 in a row at that game. Uh, he has an outstanding breaking ball, and um, what he's done to get better, he, he's understanding that he has, has to have a better command of his fastball when that breaking ball's not there. And uh, this year, as a, as a season progressed, he, he, he developed real good command of his fastball. And his his third pitch, which is a changeup, is coming along too. So he you can't sit on his you can't stay off his breaking ball. And um, you know with with the mix he provides, he's tough. He's real tough. And once he when he gets it going, especially that breaking ball, you know he can, he can he can set you up and throw one for a strike to get you off. You know jumping him early. Okay, and that's what they were doing. They were trying to jump him early. And then late he has breaking ball that can finish you. So I, I think uh, you know. He, his his secondary stuff is very very good. Ed, your aggressiveness tonight just kept pressure on him the whole game. I guess obviously the guy said that was part of the game plan. Yeah, we, we we wanted action against these guys. You, you look at Creighton, and they're outstanding defensively. Um, and we got caught, I think, at a second or third inning with a double play ball, and we we didn't execute a hit and run, and we got caught there, but. Uh, we want to we, we want our guys in motion, okay, putting balls in play, um, you know, in plus counts. We even we, we even hit and, ra hit and ran in some some negative counts. Um, so uh, we we just we just wanted to stay at the double play and give ourselves a chance to, uh, to, to with, with opportunities to score with runners in scoring position. Obviously, every day, you know, can provide a different story, but you guys are kind of on a roll right now. I guess what's been the key to this stretch run? And just finding ways to win. We didn't play particularly well yesterday. Well, offensively, uh, you know, you have to give credit to the pitcher. Uh, our, I thought our approaches were, were weak. Uh, we had some real bad at bats. Um, but, you know, we just try to hang in there and find a way to win. I think one of the strengths we do have is our back end of our bullpen. And then when we do get a lead or when a game, when we have to lock something down to give ourselves a chance, we can stop you a little bit. So, you know, these guys, like I said, these, are, these guys, uh, they just go about this game, they compete, they have fun, and you just try to find, find, find ways to pick each other up and find ways to win. And that's what it's about. John. That's what we, what we talk about. Coach, how crucial is, crucial is it to have a kid like Alex Caruso just continually driving your offense? Yeah, Alex, Alex is he's the catalyst of our offense. There's no doubt about it. I mean, he's an outstanding bunner. Um, he, he, he works the count real well for us. He gets on base and... Um, Wish he could steal more bags for us, but uh, we're working on that, that aspect of the game. But um, you know, he, he's had a, he's had an outstanding year for us. We've had a bunch of guys uh, have had very good years, and that's why you're successful. Any idea who you pitch on Sunday? Nah, I'm gonna keep that under the under my cuff right now. We have a couple options. It's either gonna be Christopher, Calica, or um, Katz. It's so a three-headed three monster. But obviously, getting, getting a complete game, being able to rest your bullpen. Yeah, it, it helps. It helps. But, you know, our bullpen likes to work. They like to throw the baseball. Uh, Kuja, um, Hackamer, and Clancy, they like to, they, they, they'll, they'll touch the ball tonight. They'll touch the ball tomorrow night. They just want to throw. They like to throw. They just, that, that's just, maybe it's psychological for them. But if you look at their appearances, we got 30, 28, 32. Um, we don't run them out there long, but uh, you know, they're efficient with the outs we get. Take two more questions. I guess you've been in this position before. What's kind of the key as you, as you prepare for Sunday? We don't. It's, it's just play baseball. We don't get caught up in what game it is and how the importance of the game is. Just play the best baseball game. We, we always talk about, you know, it's not what they are, what they're about. It's what, what can we do? Okay, how can we play? Let's play the, our game. If that's not good enough, it's not good enough. It's, that's always been, you know, since I've been here at, at St. John's, we focus on playing the best baseball we possibly can. If that's, that's good enough, it's good enough. If it's not, so be it. John? Mm -hmm. How do you create all that 
Um, I don't know how to create that looseness. They're just loose. <laughs> I, I can't, uh, they just like to have fun. Isn't it what it's all about, college athletics? We, we lose focus to that, you know, it's a game. And um, I want these guys to have fun, but yet they know when it's time to, 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 to bear down. I, I thought maybe, you know, uh, this, this was one of our better games mentally. You know, we were focused, they, 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 were, they, were, they were on point. There's other, other games that I, I, I don't know where we were half the time. Yesterday, I, 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 we were someplace else for a while, but they seemed to figure it out. And when they got to, you know, when they got to, you know, come together, they come together. So it's uh, it's a unique bunch, believe me, and a fun bunch. Are you having fun? Hey, what better job in the world can you can you have working with kids that are 18 to 21 years old? Keeps me young, keeps the hair on my head. So I'm having fun. As long as I'm having fun, I'll still coach it. Coach, thank you for joining us. St. John's will play in the championship game on Sunday at 1 o'clock.